Hey guys, welcome back to the Millsert Man channel. I've recently acquired this US Bred M9 and I've had this Italian model for a little while and I kind of thought while I had these two out together comparing them, I would do a quick video on it in case you're in the market for a Bred 92. As you know, the, the 92 served US military from 1985 to 2017. That's a little over 30 years of service life. Now they're pretty much becoming collectibles to collectors, especially US collectors like myself that wants a, you know, kind of a copy of the U.S. service pistols through the years. And that's what this one is. This one's just a standard U.S. Beretta. You got your cage codes. There are assembly numbers there. Your U.S. markings on the frame and your slide. And uh, like I said, I've had the Italian model for a while and there is some slight differences between the two as why maybe you would want this one over this one or this over this. And I thought I'd make a quick video on that. Before I get started, I want to go ahead and give a shout out to Dominion Outdoors Kentucky. They're the ones that helped me acquire this Bread M9, and I really appreciate them. Go check their store out on Facebook or online. They're super easy to find and great people. Please go check them out. And we also like to thank our friends over at Ballastall and Otis Technologies, along with Talent Grips. They're super nice people, and please go check out their products. I'll leave some links down in the description. Now, one big difference you notice between these two is that your USM9 model is going to have these allen allen heads for your grip screws and on the uh, the battalion model is going to have just standard flat heads for the screw grip uh, screw panels or the, the screws for the grip panels i'm sorry um that's one little minor difference you can tell right off the bat which model's which and you notice too here on your italian model your markings are just going to be a tad bit different you notice model 92 fs caliber 9 parabellum and you got also of course you've got your acceptance marks from where it so it leaves the factory there in Italy. It has to have their proof testing on there. And on your on your opposite side here, obviously you've got Made in Italy, Pietro Beretta, and you got PB there. So that's going to be one difference right off the bat. If you're looking at these pistols, obviously the US M9 Beretta says US 9mm M9. You got your assembly number. You got your US 9mm on the frame. And on the opposite side, you've got your Beretta Corp, and this one's made in Gallatin, Tennessee. You got your Pietro Breda mark there and obviously M9 and the serial number. So that's going to be one difference between the two when you're looking at them, just from a standpoint of view. Now I will say fit and finish, fit and finish wise, the Italian models seem to be a lot better fit and finish and fitment. Uh, this seems to be a notch more in quality, not saying the U.S. models are bad in any way. Uh, it just appears that the Italian models, when they're made in Italy, they just seem to have this the notch more quality. And that could just be me <laughs> thinking it's made in Italy, it's better. It just seems to be a very quality pistol. Like, there's no rattle on this one. Just, you know, you got some parts, it's a little bit loose. Not as, not as tight tolerances as the Italian model. I'm going to go ahead and break these two down and go in some more little, some minor differences between the two. Uh, I can't show this on YouTube, obviously, or I'll get a count strike, so I'm going to go ahead and cut to that. Stay with me. Okay, we've got our Berettas taken down here. I want to take a moment just to show you here. A difference between the 92FS and the M9 is the siding system. As you can see on the 92FS Italian model, you've got your three-dot siding system. On the U.S. Beretta, you've got your what's called a two-dot, or also known as a snowman sight, or half moon. Uh, that's a slight difference it is between the two. Let's go ahead and look at the barrels. On this Italian barrel, you can see you've got your Pietro, uh, Pietro Beretta marking, along with some proof testing on this barrel to show that this, this particular pistol has went through proof testing. Also, you can notice your chrome lining right off the bat. Very shiny and clear. Also, your chrome chamber. Now, on the U.S. model, you can see the only thing you have is just your P and shield. And look. Now, I've heard before on threads that this is still chrome line. That just for some reason on the Bread USA pistols that they coat their barrels with some kind of special black treatment to blacken the blacken the chrome. I'm not sure why they do that. I'll have to look more into that to find out. But it appear off the bat that the the USM9 barrels aren't chrome, which I believe they are. Uh, but definitely can notice it a lot more in the 92 series. But everything pretty much internally is the same. You can look there hammers, everything's the same. Um, virtually no difference there. So let's go ahead and get these back together. Okay, we've got our pistols back together here and I kind of want to give some final talking points. As I mentioned before, it just seems that the Beretta Italian models, 
or uh, just a smidge more quality than their U.S. counterparts. Um, that could be because this gun is a newer gun. This comes with the new Beretta black box. I'm not sure how old it's within one that last couple of years. Uh, this one's probably made around the early 2000s. I'm not for sure. Like I said, I've had it a while. Uh, I got it used with no box, so um, it's hard for me to tell exactly what year this one was. But there seems to be a, uh, quite a bit of a difference in quality between the two. I'm not saying the U.S. gun is a bad gun at all. It's just that uh, if you're maybe looking at purchasing one Beretta and you're more of a shooter and care about durability, you might want to go more towards the Italian model. If you're a collector like myself and you're wanting exactly what the U.S. government have with the markings, you might want to go with the U.S. M9. Uh, they will probably both do just as well for you, really. Um, I had to get this one just because it had all the cool markings, and, you know, I'm like that. I'm the guy that has to have the markings. It says U.S. and, of course, bread on there, M9. I just, I just like stuff like that. I um, appreciate you guys watching. Go ahead and leave me a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Definitely leave me a comment in the comment section. I love connecting and talking to you guys. If you have any questions about these guns, go ahead and leave a comment. Or if there's something that you know about them, go ahead and leave me a comment. I always will learn more. I appreciate you guys watching. Have a blessed day.